This is a quick video about how to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. As you can see here, I have a page that says Balance List and then has a button that says Get Balance. I'm going to go ahead and show you, well, let me go ahead and run the page first. As you can see there, I have a number of addresses and then I also have the balance of each of those addresses. And you can see there that the first one says Sable Sanchez and the rest of them are cities in Massachusetts. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the code next. As you can see here, uh, the top of it is the text that you saw at the top of the page before we loaded uh, the balances. The rest of it is just an array that holds the names of the cities. This is just simply for ease of identifying which account we're working with. And the rest of it is the addresses. Now after this, you can see there that there is a method that is being called and this is hooking on to the object that is exposed when you have the MetaMask uh, plugin on the page. And you can see there that I'm passing in the addresses one by one. So I have here accounts dot for each, and you know the account has all of the addresses. And then once I do, then I'm just doing get uh, balance, and I have a callback that adds that information onto uh, the web page. And so that is simply um, going through a list of addresses, pulling out the balance and showing it on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and do a transfer here. Uh, the account that my MetaMask account is under is this first one, this 0x.72. And so I'm going to transfer one Ether to the next one. I'm going to show that here. And I'm going to go ahead and send one ether. So I'm going to enter the recipient address and that's Arlington as you can see there. And the amount is going to be one ether. I'm going to click on next. It's going to ask me how much gas limit and I'm just going to go with the default. Now depending on the load on the network this might take a while or it might go through right away. So if it takes a while I'm going to pause the recording. If not um, I'll connect to it right away. Okay, that has gone ahead and gone through. And now I'm going to go ahead and reload the page. As you can see here, right now the balance of Arlington is 12. So I'm going to go ahead and reload the page and we should see 13. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you can see there that I've made the transfer. So again, this is very much a bank-like function. This is Ether, which is the currency, and we have some identities, and I'm making a financial transaction in which I am transferring one Ether from Abel Sanchez to the Arlington account. Again, the names are just cosmetic. What really matters is the addresses. So that is a simple wire transfer, not wire transfer, but a transfer of one Ether from one account into the other. And all I'm doing there is listing uh, the balances. I'll go ahead and show quickly uh, some code on how to send an Ether. And I'm going to show you that here. And this is the code that would perform uh, sending from one account into the other. And as you can see there, it is send transaction. It takes some parameters, then it has a callback. But once again, all you're really doing is moving from one address onto the other. In this case, we're passing those parameters in through W3 as opposed to doing it through MetaMask or through the MetaMask UI. Uh, we're ho hooking on to the object and performing that operation. So this is a simple hello world on how to interact with the blockchain, how to pull in or how to pass in some information, how to query it and get the balances of a number of addresses. And on this last one on how to do a transfer between two accounts. So I'll stop there because I wanted this to be pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, the code is here, uh, compoxo.org, get balance all, and I'll zip up uh, a few other examples that I have as well. So I'll stop it there.